Viewer discretion is advised. Any similarities with actual people are merely coincidental. Even the stories based on actual events are fictional. Hello, I am Valgar. The Middle Ages, Part 2. Run! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're safe. Yeah, you uh, saved us, brave knights and heroes. Yeah. Fellas, you have saved our village from the evil monster Bobo. No way, man. Please come with us to the village so we can thank you by giving you our most valued artifact. This here book is our most prized possession. It's written by this, um, uh, what's his face, uh, Tolkien. Now the book describes the whole legend of the enchanted ring right to the very last detail. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Long ago, one year ago, the boy of Velikuternovo decided to find a husband for his daughter. My child, you will be a bride. Oh, father! But when the king announced he was looking for a bridegroom, few men didn't flee. Hell no! You gotta catch me first! <laughs> the princess was devastated. The boyar asked the great wizard Veliku for help. He created a ring mightier than Frodo's. With this ring, Princess Misha could take any man from Veliku Ternovo for a husband. Once she put the ring on his finger, he would fall in love with her. Unfortunately, she wanted to give it to the local crook, Robin Hood. I'd rather have my eyes popped out than my mother's soul. And that's exactly what happened. His eyes were gouged out and his mother soul, but he escaped. Eyeless, but not empty-handed. <laughs> my precious. Months went by. The king was furious and Robin thirsty for revenge. Then came the day of the greatest battle Middle-earth had ever witnessed. And amidst the chaos, that which is not to be named was forever lost. If earlier the great wizard Veliku hadn't said, filled with confidence, If something goes wrong, may I turn to stone like a troll? All would be well, but the curse befell him at the worst time. And being a stone, he couldn't create a new ring for the princess. Then the boyar called for Veliko's best students, namely the good wizard Majestico and Isaac, the evil wizard, and told them whoever brings the ring back will be the greatest wizard of Tornovo. And they set off with the hope of taking their master's place. But they didn't know that when the ring was found and all was back to normal, the curse would be lifted of the great wizard Veliko. The end. Wow. Where could this ring be? All the best. Y'all come back now, you hear? We'll roast a lamb, we'll have some beer, and then some more beer, and whatever you want you can have. <laughs> Man, when will I reach Veliko Ternovo? I hope I don't meet anyone. They'll think I'm Shrek's dungeon that won't end well. Ha! A donkey! My ride to Veliko Ternovo! No, you of all people! Wow, a talking donkey! <coughs> oh, come on, I heard you. You're Shrek's donkey, right? Here we go. Whatever. Let's go. Giddy up. Hmm. Actually, that's just fine. This way I can keep an eye on my biggest enemy, and he won't even suspect it. <laughs> Donkey, watch what you're thinking. 
So we give them the ring and we become heroes? Totally! Do you think the princess will be happy, brave knight? Totally! I bet she's very beautiful. Now we just need to find someone to take us to Veliko Tarnovo. The road to Tarnovo, huh? Of course I'll take you, muchachos. On one condition, though. You help me take down the Boyer King. We will say yes, but we won't do it. Totally! Yes, we will help. Muy bien. Now meet my merry men. This is Bro Pit. And this is Little John. Secret wire for Bro Pit from the Boyer! <laughs> so you're the mole, come on. Little John, let's kick his ass. Ha! Where did he go? Hurry after him! Excuse me, would you take us to Veliko Ternovo? I think we lost him. <laughs> Who are you? Are you another Boyar spy? Yeah, I'm Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. Ta-da! <laughs> Just kidding, suckers. It's me. <laughs> because of you, Little John gave his life. You take his place now, pendejo. Vamanos to Veliko Tarnovo. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Veliko Tarnovo. Guards, these two gentlemen are here to see the boyar. Just so you know, they were with Robin Hood. Okay, guys, let's go. Where are you taking us? Standard procedure. First we hang you, then we question you. The lad I gave the ring to must be here somewhere. The knight who took my ring must be here somewhere. Quickly, put this cloak on. Why, goddammit, we going undercover. No, it looks better on the screen, muchacho. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to witness the hanging of these two sinners from Robin Hood's outlaw band. Hey, those are my guys. Oh, the guy. The knight. Daddy, who's that handsome lad who's to be hanged? Any last wishes? Actually, yes. I'd like to give something to the princess. <laughs> the ring! Oh no, I have to save him now. Robin! Run, people! It's the Robin Hood's gang! This time you will not escape me, Robin Hood! No man can stop me. The ring's gotta be here somewhere! Hmm. Wizards! Duck, my child, so Robin Hood's bandits don't find you! Here's the ring! On the ground! Guys, this ring is mine. Princess? Handsome stranger. Never in my wildest dreams did I think you're so beautiful. I won't give up without a fight. <laughs> <laughs> in the castle, my child. But Daddy, I just fell in love. Hmm. Come with me. Father, oh. would you wear these two? Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dumb. Dear beloved, do you take each other? I do. I do. <laughs> the ring is mine! <sighs> oh, donkey, you're beautiful! Listen, everyone! 
My daughter is married! This is the happiest day of the episode. Robin, my friend, I'm not mad anymore. My son-in-law's friends are my friends too. From this day on, we're all friends. Okay, all right. come to the palace. Let's celebrate this glorious day. I just love it when all ends well. Let's not forget! And they lived happily ever after! You shall not pass, but I shall not be!